Hello, welcome to Learn for Free Friday. My name is David Williams, and today we're going to learn about views in SharePoint. I want to show you how to create and modify views within SharePoint. We're going to work in a list environment, even though the techniques and processes that I'm going to show you, the options and so on, also can be applied to views that you want to create for libraries. So whether it's a list, whether it's a library, uh, processes, procedures, and the options that you're going to see for the most part are going to be the same. Could be a few differences uh, as you navigate between a list and a library, um, but for the most part, uh, what we do here, you'll be able to also apply to your libraries. So with that in mind, let's get to it. Okay, so here we have our product list. Our product list has columns of, of data. We have title, uh, which is a product number. We have our product type, date, sale total, sales staff, and our region. Now, when we talk about views in a list or library, what we're talking about is how do we want to see the data that exists in our list or inside of our library? A view doesn't necessarily take out any of your data. Uh, it just changes what it is that you're looking at. Uh, why do we want to create different views? Well, sometimes we may want to create a view that is specific for me, right? Um, not that I'm a selfish, selfish person, but uh, maybe I only want to see things that that I've handled or that I've put into the system or that are for my customer. OK, um, maybe we want to see things broken down by region OK, um, for certain departments. Um, we want to see things that were created or modified in a certain time frame. So maybe things that were uh, modified today or within the last seven days or within the last week. OK. Uh, many different reasons why we would want to create views and many different options for creating those views. OK, so what we're going to look at currently. Is how to kind of quickly and, and easily uh, create views for this particular list. When we look at our views right now, we are looking at the default, what's called the all items view. And in this upper right corner here, if we click on this drop down, this is our view list. Now, out of the box, when you create a list or a library in SharePoint, you're going to have a couple of pre-existing views for you to use. Uh, this default all items view is one of them. You'll also see an option for this compact list. And a compact list is going to take this exact same data, but notice how we have the little divider lines and a little bit of that white space in between each row. If you click on the compact list, it condenses your data a little bit, allowing you to fit a little bit more items on the screen. So for those large lists where you're scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, the compact list uh, makes that a little easier to read. We also have a view called gallery. And gallery is going to be more like, I guess I call them note cards, index cards, um, but all of your data for each record are on individual cards in the gallery versus being in uh, a list format of columns and rows like we would see in, in an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, So these are some of the out of the box views. Now below that, you'll see options for creating new views, saving a view as something, or modifying or editing the current view. So we'll look at each one of these options as we move forward. I'm going to get back to my standard list view here. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is how to take a view. Such as this all items, we're going to apply a filter to it and then we're going to save that filtered view as a new list or as a new view. So we're going to take the let's go with the region column. So we want to see sales that have taken place in the UK. So I'm going to click my region drop down. I'm going to filter by. And I'm going to select the UK. Apply. Now I have a filtered view of my list of only products that were sold in the UK. Now if I go to my view drop down. 
I can click on Save View As. Very important here, let's give this view a new name. Okay, product sales sounds good. Now we have an option before we click on save is whether or not we want to make this a public view. This option will be there or it'll be disabled based upon your permissions in SharePoint. For this particular site, I'm one of the owners, so I have the capability of creating views for my organization or creating public views. So I'm going to leave this selected and click save. Now, if I didn't want this to be a public view, if I wanted this to be a personal view, which means I'm the only one in the organization looking at this list that would have access to this view, uh, I would simply remove this check mark and this view would now be what's called a personal view. All right, for our demo, we'll leave this as a public view and we'll click on save. All right, so here we have our UK product sales. And notice that with this view selected, I also have the compact list, the gallery, and the list view all available. Okay, so here's my all items. And then very quickly, we can switch back over to our UK product sales. So super quick, super easy way to create a filtered view in a SharePoint list or library. Thank you for joining us on Learn for Free Friday. Tune in next week as we continue our discussion on views and be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and also on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe, uh, share this information with your friends. Feel free to forward it around. Uh, tons of great information on the channel that's absolutely free. Um, so please check us out and uh, we look to, forward to seeing you back next week.